Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video on monomial factors of polynomials. So what I've done is I come up with like a three-step process to do this. So our first problem, we're going to do actually two together. So follow along with me. And then you're going to have a chance to pause the video and try two on your own. And then at the end you can see how you did. So the first problem, we have a binomial. It's 12x to the fourth plus 8x to the sixth. And I want to know what two factors multiplied together will give us this, the 12x to the fourth plus 8x to the sixth. So what you do first is you find the greatest monomial factor of each term, okay? So I want to find the GCF of 12x to the fourth and 8x to the sixth. So remember, what you do is you first look at the coefficients and you say, what is the greatest common factor of 12 and 8? And that would be 4. So 4 is our first part. And then you look at the monomials with, with the x's, okay? And so we have x to the fourth and x to the sixth. And remember, you take the one that has the smallest power. So in this case, it's going to be x to the fourth. So it's going to be 4x to the fourth. So 4x to the fourth is, is the GCF of 12x to the fourth plus 8x to the sixth. So that's part one. Part two, it says divide each term by that greatest monomial factor. So I'm going to divide 12x to the fourth by 4x to the fourth. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. I'm going to write 3 over here. And x to the fourth divided by x to the fourth is just a 1. So that part is going to be just 3. The second part, 8x to the sixth divided by 4x to the fourth. Well, 8 divided by 4 is 2. And x to the sixth divided by x to the fourth is x squared. And finally, we're going to place the factors uh, side by side. So remember, 4x to the fourth, that was our first factor. And this is actually missing a plus sign here. And 3 plus 2x squared is a second factor. So this is what we're looking for right here. 4x to the fourth times 3 plus 2x squared. And remember, this is the GCF. That's what we want. All right, for example number two, we have a trinomial, but you, you follow the same process. So step one, I want to find the GCF of 25x squared plus 15x plus 10. And so I'm going to first look at the coefficients. So we have 25, 15, and 10. So the GCF of 25, 15, and 10 is just a 5. Now we have x squared and an x, but notice there isn't a common factor of an, of an x over here. So we can't take those out. So our GCF is just going to be 5. So now what we're going to do is we're going to divide each one of these terms by 5. So 25x squared divided by 5. Well, that will give us 5x squared. 15x divided by 5. Well, that will give us a 3x. And then 10 divided by 5. That gives us 2. And there's your answer. So we're looking for four, uh, sorry, five times 5x squared plus 3x plus 2 as our answer. All right, so I want you to use the same three-step process to factor uh, the problems on the, on the next page. When you're, done, when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say do these practice problems. So the first one we're trying to factor out a monomial factor of this binomial. So 40x squared plus 30x cubed, we need to first find the GCF. So the GCF of these two terms is going to be a 10x squared. And now we need to divide each one of these monomials by the 10x squared. So 10x squared uh, divided into 40x squared, well, 40 divided by 10 is 4. And x squared divided by x squared is just a 1. So that part's going to be 4. Plus 30 divided by 10 is 3. And x cubed divided by x squared is just an x. So right here is our first answer. All right, the second problem we wanted to factor out um, this trinomial, right? So we have 6x to the fourth plus 4x plus 20. And the GCF of these three terms is just going to be just a plain old 2. Because 2 is the greatest common factor of 6, 
4, and 20. If you notice, the 20 is missing a factor of an x, so we can't take out an x, even though these have an, an x to the fourth and also an x. So I need to now divide each one of these terms by 2, so that's going to leave us with 6x to the fourth divided by 2 is 3x to the fourth. 4x divided by 2, well, that would just be a 2x. And then 20 divided by 2 is 10. And there it is. All right, so when you're asked to factor out a monomial from, uh, from a polynomial, make sure you're familiar with these three steps. If you do that, you should be okay.